True North training systems. Uh, we're following up from the gym chat that I did with Craig a while ago, talking about how to improve your deadlift. So this is one of my big goals, and Craig actually told me last time to just lay off doing any deadlifts for a while, so today was the first time I pulled in a while. And what were we looking at today? Uh, so what we're, gonna do, what we're gonna do today is break down Josh's deadlift, uh, C, A, how much weight he can lift, and B, what happens when he gets there. Uh, so everybody can lift 135 pounds perfectly, 225 pounds perfectly, but what will really be revealing is what stops Josh, say he gets to 365, what stops him from 385. So I don't care what allows someone to lift a weight, I care what, allow, what makes them stop at that weight and, and inhibits them from getting the next one. Right, so you're going to see where I fuck up and you're going to try to give me things to try and correct this. Absolutely. Um, good, and so what I'm asking Craig to do is just take care of my whole lower body program. So I'm going to do my own upper body things, I have some other goals with that. Uh, and you're going to put together a full plan focused specifically on getting a big deadlift. 100%. Cool. So let's get into lifting and then we'll touch base after and see what you saw. Sounds good. Awesome. It's actually been almost two months without any deadlifting and I'm feeling pretty rusty even here on my warm up sets. Get tight man, come on. Come on. And as you can see, my knees are going over the bar, my upper back is rounding. It looks like uh, my, my lats aren't really engaging that well here. So I ended up stopping in the low 400, so I definitely have some ground to make up here. Yes. So for some inspiration, Lance pulled 605 pounds for reps. My ultimate goal is to get somewhere close to this for a single on the deadlift. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Up. That was terrible. All right, so we're done the lifting. It was a little humbling. I felt a little rusty after taking some time off pulling, but is that pretty normal after you take a break? Uh, it's extremely normal. It's hard to get used to the feeling of heavy weights and strain in your hands. Yeah, and um, also mentally, I noticed it was hard to get into pulling hard. Absolutely, it's tough to it's tough to learn to grind immediately. Yeah, cool. So uh, this was good. Um, you were able to look at what uh, where I give out, uh, where I failed, uh, and find some muscular imbalances that might be there. All right. So you saw you have the video footage. Uh, you saw what was going on. Was there anything that stood out to you? There are a few things I noticed with Josh. Uh, one, his starting position is a little bit off. His knees are way ahead of the bar. And I'd like to see more of a vertical shin angle for Josh pulling off the floor. I don't think he engages his lats and his abs enough. But other than that, we've just got to get him back into the groove and uh, get him working hard when he goes to pull, really committing to pull. Cool. All right, so you're going to put together a program, and then we'll, uh, I'll put that on the video as well. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks a lot for your time. I believe so here's what my lower body program looks like. Basically, there's a deadlift dominant day and a squat focused day. On the deadlift day, I'm starting with sumo deadlifts, which I hate, by the way. I don't think I've ever really trained these before. Uh, three inch deficit deadlift, which I haven't done in years. Uh, that's conventional deadlifts. Um, and then I'm doing uh, a bunch of singles with a moderate weight, 30 seconds rest between sets, and finishing with core. And on day two, I have uh, back squats and front squats, and once again, finishing with core. So every week I'll be sending Craig my results and he'll be sending me back the weights, sets, and reps for the following week. If you want to find out more about Craig and True North Training Systems, you can check him out online at tntsonline.com. This technique is the, the quickest problem to fix. In terms of the question about gaining weight, I think you're actually in a good position there for deadlifts because I think deadlift of the three power lifts is the least reliant on body weight. 